Hey everybody, welcome back. So today's video is my Allure Beauty Box unboxing. I didn't get the July box. I, I think I got an email last month or in June that said the July box was going to be a little late, but I have no idea if this is my July box or not. So we're going to find out together. So first when you open it up, you always have a little booklet in there. Mine says, let's see, I have no idea what month this is for. Um, let me read it real quick. Okay, I have no idea. I do not know. This is my July. I don't know, but let's go ahead and get started. Looks like we got some good things in here. This is probably the most, the biggest box I've ever received from them. I'm never, I never get like this many things, I don't think. So it looks like a good one. So when you look inside your booklet, there's always something in the beginning that tells about the person who put the box together and, or why and, you know, things like that. And then each page will tell you a little bit about your products okay so and I apologize if I'm sniffing a lot but my allergies are like in full bloom today alright so the first thing I pull out is my Garnier whole blends uh, repairing shampoo honey treasures royal jelly honey is in it uh, it's for strengthening and heals damaged hair I've never even heard of this product I mean I've heard of Garnier but Garnier. I've just never heard of this product. This is 1.7 fluid ounces. Okay, let's open it up, see how it smells. Oh, okay. That smells good. I mean, it just smells like shampoo. It smells good. Alright, there we go. So, let's see what it says in here about this stuff. It doesn't say anything in here about this, so I'm guessing this is just a little extra, maybe. This is not even in the book, so I have no idea about this product. And it looks like I got a conditioner as well. Okay, and that's what it looks like. Oh, God, I hate allergies. All right. The next thing we have is a Defense Refresh Setting Mist with Rosemary. Broad Spectrum Sunscreen SPF 50. Okay. It says matte finish, 3-in-1, sets makeup, controls oil, and delivers UV photo aging protection. And it is from Super Goop. It is 0.5 ounces. Yeah, I don't think it's going to show up at all because of the glare. But it's just a little white bottle. Let me see. I'll just find a picture in here. Okay, here we go. This is what it is. The Super Goop Defense Refreshing Setting Mist. Okay. Um, it says it is a mattifying makeup setting spray. It helps keep makeup in place, minimizes shine, and adds a little SPF insurance. Uh, let's see, there is something in here for controlling oil, but then there's also rosemary oil in it, which apparently is for a cooling effect. All right, so it says there is a slight tingle when you spray on the clear, slightly thick liquid and a, built a, a bit of film for the first hour, particularly on the eyelids. It smells strongly of sunscreen and alcohol with a tiny hint of mint but the scents fade quickly okay and if you want to purchase some you can go to supergoop.com and the full size which I do not know what the full size is in the picture it says the full size is 3.4 ounces I think and it costs twenty dollars twenty eight dollars for the full size so this is 0.5 ounces okay let's see Mm. 
Okay. I will say that there is no wet feeling. Usually when you spray on setting spray, your face feels wet. I don't feel that at all. And I do smell something. Um, I'm not sure what the smell is. It's the sunscreen. It does smell strongly of sunscreen. I don't really smell any alcohol, though. But I do smell the sunscreen in there. So we'll see. I mean, I don't see a film as of yet. But, you know, we'll, we'll see. We will see. All right. The next item we have is from Pureless. This is the Blue Lotus Balancing Moisturizer in Prevent. This is a preventing cream. Let's see. So it's this right here on this page. Um, it says it's a lightweight lotion for normal dry or sensitive skin. It hydrates skin. There is some algae, some white tea, blue lotus extracts, glycerin. Uh, it's a milky thin formula, spreads like a gel and has a floral fragrance. And it also says this Whisper Life formula is perfect for layering under makeup and leaves skin soft and slightly glowy on contact. Plus, it contains antioxidants, which can reduce free radical damage from the sun. And the full price of this is $55. This is a 0.5 ounce. It looks like the full size is 1.7 ounces. So that's not bad at all. And this is what it looks like. It says Pureless on it. Okay. I don't know if it has oil. It doesn't say it has oil. And I have oily skin. So I'll have to go up on their website and really check it out. Just to see whether or not there's any oil in it. It has a little foil on the top. Which I like. All right. It's just a white gel-like. I don't smell anything. It just smells like lotion to me. I really don't smell anything. It's very light. It doesn't feel oily. It just feels moisturizing on the skin. It feels nice and cool, but not oily. All right, we'll have to check that out. Okay, so the next item I have in here is a uh, item from Freeze 24-7. I've never heard of them. It's an anti-aging eye serum. Okay. I've actually never heard of this company, so let's see if there's something in here. And once again, it's another product that is not even in the book. Oh, no, there it is on the front page. Okay, so this is what it is. Okay, and I just got a 0.23 fluid ounce sample size of it. Uh, it says it moisturizes the eye area and makes skin look smoother, tighter for a few hours. It does contain, it does contain glycerin, aloe vera, which reduces inflammation. Uh, let's see. It's a thin white lotion, feels cool on the skin, and dries to a powdery finish. It has no scent and didn't irritate even our sensitive contact lens wearing testers. All right, so full size of this is 0.5 ounce. At least that's what it says on the picture. And it's $115. Wow, $115. Good Lord. All right, so we got the 2.3 ounce. $115 for five ounces? Wow. Well, let's see how this works out. If I can get it open. $115. Oof. Okay. Oh, come on. Open up. There we go. All right. So it says it doesn't have a scent. We'll see, won't we? It's sort of on the runny side. It's thick, but it's kind of runs down my hands a little bit, but that's what it looks like. It's just a clear, like a cloudy gel-like thing. 
feels very watery, not oily. Um, no smell whatsoever. Feels nice. Feels very light and it feels nice. So I'll be checking this out too. Zero scent whatsoever. Okay, so now we've got a hairbrush. And this is the Wet Brush Pro. Okay. Um, okay, here it is on the bottom, right here. It says, uh, it's a cushion brush with a long, flexible plastic bristles. Um, the oval-shaped brush is about the size of an iPhone and comes in metallic and jewel tones. I got mine in just a silver color. Um, boo -boo 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 -boo. Okay, so you know how you've been told often by us to use only a wide tooth comb and never brush wet hair, which is so true. I never brush my hair and it's wet. I'll wait till it's completely dry. Um, this brush is the exception to that rule. The bristles are flexible enough to untangle knots without snagging, but still strong enough to glide through thick waves and curls. Thanks to the long bristle length, about three quarters of an inch, you can also distribute your favorite styling product easily. Okay, you can purchase it at thewetbrush.com. And it is $8.99. So that's actually not too bad. $8.99 for a brush that's you know supposed to do what it says it's supposed to do. We will find out. It is very flexible and they're pretty spread apart. They're not too close together. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Looks nice. It's very light. It looks nice. All right, I'll be checking that out. All right, we've got two more products. This one right here is from Cargo. It is the Cargo Cosmetics Swimmables. I'm guessing... <coughs> oh, excuse me, allergies. All right, so it's this right here from Cargo. And it is, okay, a Cargo Swimmables Eye Pencil in Pebble Beach. And this is in Pebble Beach. I don't feel good on it. Um, it's water-resistant eyeliner. The color is a deep, almost black brown with a soft tip, but not too mushy. And it is $18 at CargoCosmetics.com. So let's see. That's what it looks like inside. It's just a dark color. Smooth and pigmented. So not bad at all. All right, the last thing we have. This is from Mally. That's all it says, or at least all I can see. And it's just this pencil like thing. It is the Mali Matte, uh, Mali Matte Wand Eye Brightener. It is a dual ended pencil and shadow brush that can be used to brighten the eye area. The pen has a peachy white eye pencil on one end and a sponge tip shadow brush on the other. And. It says, while no makeup can make you feel more awake, this little guy can at least make your eyes look perkier and well less bloodshot. Brush the shadow on your lid from the lash line to just above the crease. Line your lower lid as close as possible to the lash line with a pale nude pencil. And then now go get yourself a double shot of espresso and we'll take care of the rest. So that is what it says. You can get it at MallyBeauty.com and it is $25. So let's open this up. My last product. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight products. I've never gotten eight products in here. I'm wondering if some of the products are from the July box. Maybe that's why there's eight products in here. 
because I have never received eight products at one time in my beauty box. Oh, come. It says on the pencil to twist to open down on this end, and it also says the sponge is preloaded with powder. So twist. And here is the sponge, and you see how that white stuff on it? That's powder. I'm thinking the powder is on the inside of the cap. See that brownish looking color? It kind of matches the color on here. I wonder if that's the powder on the inside. I think it is. Okay. It's soft, and that's what it looks like, that white looking powder. That's very strange. I'm not really sure how I'm supposed to use this. And then we've got the liner up here, which is the same color. Okay, so you've got the liner and the eyeshadow, I guess it is, on the inside. But that is what it looks like. That is everything, guys. So I got in my box. I'm, I'm really shocked that I got eight products. Three, four, five, six, maybe seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, yeah seven products. I have never gotten eight products. I've got the brush. I've never gotten so many products in, you know, my Allure box. Never. And these are really good size. So I'm not too sure if there's more in there because, you know, the whole July box that I never got. I knew it was going to be late, but I literally just never got the box. So I'm excited. There's a couple of surprises in there. So I'm excited. I think I'm going to send him an email and find out what's going on because I don't know if this is like a combination of July and August or what. But I will have to call. And if I find anything out, I'll put it up on here in case anyone else has no noticed that they didn't get a July box either. But I will let you know. All right, guys, that is the end of this video. I um, don't have any more to do today. I think that's it for today. And make sure that you go over and check out my Jasmine Glover collaboration that we did. It is a bold summer look. So go ahead and check that video out and check hers out as well. And until next time, peace and God bless. I love you guys. Have a good day. Bye-bye.